So welcome to the Mal and Johnny Show and a very special guest uh, in this week's programme. We have a genuine film star. Johnny, perhaps you'd like to introduce her to us. Uh, may I introduce you, Owen Rees, star of stage, screen, television and Labour Exchange. You see it. <laughs> Hello. But it's very exciting, isn't it? I've seen the trailers. It's called mm. Save the Cinema. Tell us a little bit about it, Alwyn. Well, um, it's uh, based in the Lyric uh, Theatre in Carmarthen. And um, many years ago, I think it was 1992 or something like that, there was a problem because the council had decided that they were going to pull the um, lyric down and they were going to build a, a shopping precinct. Mm -hmm. Now, then, this particular lady called Liz Evans, uh, she used to have children um, performing at the lyric. She did an awful lot for the youngsters of the town. And when she heard this, she decided that she was going to oppose the whole thing, obviously. And as it was a, a special building and it should not be pulled down at all, uh, she went about it in many ways to have her own way, which she did in the end. Well, it sounds like... She used to be the manager of the place anyway, didn't she? Uh, yes. So yes, I did yes, Pantos yes. there with Stan and she was the manager. Yeah, that was afterwards, you see. That yeah, I, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And, and the son... Uh, is Win Evans, of course. Win Evans, See, yeah. I was going to say, oh, this is all very far-fetched, isn't it? It, would, it? But it's all a really true story. It's a true story. Mm. Yeah. And the thing is, it's um, it's a lovely story because it's got a lovely ending. It's a very happy story in the end. So. Yeah, because it is. Yes, it's a beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful theatre. So we've we've all played. Did you? Did either of mm. you play there bef before all of this happened, or is, have you been there since? What year was it? Um, I think we were there beforehand, actually. Yeah, we did. Um, we did come out then with, with Stan, didn't yes, we? Yes, I know, but I can't remember what year it was. Mm. Yeah, I, I think I think it was before this because I didn't hear any of this before. No, I hadn't heard no. about it either. Yeah. It was news to me. Yeah. When um, when I was offered the part, I was I was oh the lyric. I said, oh good heavens, I've been there. <laughs> there are so many great stories around, and and on those great venues, you know, so many of them have been pulled down. But luckily, you know, there are occasionally we've we've seen sense and we've kept them safe and sound. You know, like I'm thinking, uh, Hammondford Miners, Blackwood Miners mm. Institute. I suppose there was yes. a temptation with a lot of these to pull them down and build something. New. I, I remember doing. I, I, yeah, I, I remember going to the Oakdale Miners Institute to do a wedding. Have you ever? Have you ever played in Oakdale, either of you? I think I have. The name's familiar. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I must have played every. every yeah. venue. So we we <laughs> went there. All the boys. We all went there to play the Oakdale. Obviously, the first place you go is Oakdale, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got there. They pulled it down. They take it to St Fagans. We were half an hour late for the gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it was somewhere. Then. It was. It was somewhere. It was somewhere. Okay. So how did? I mean, how do you get a gig in a film? How do you, how do you get the part? Is, do you have an agent? Are you looking out for auditions? How does it happen? Well, usually, yes. Obviously, you have a, you've got an agent because um, you have to have an agent these days. When I started, I didn't have an agent at all yeah. and I just knew people or people who heard of me or saw me and then they would offer me a, a part. But um, uh, what happened was my agent uh, phoned me up and she said that they were actually going to do this film. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, John. Oh, that's oh, lovely. You're oh, no, no, you're, you're going out oh. to shop. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> there's, all, there's, there's always an ulterior motive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not looking at my well, agent. Yeah. Well, anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> so um, my agent phoned me up. Actually, I was doing some Christmas shopping right. this time last year. I yes. was doing Christmas shopping and I was down the bay. And she said, oh, we've, we've got a, a little film coming up. Well, it's a big film, actually. She said, it's for uh, Sky. I said, all oh, right. So I thought I'd have to audition for it because mm -hmm. usually you do have to audition for everything. But I had worked for the um, director, uh, Sarah Sugarman, before. Mm -hmm. And uh, she actually asked for me. Oh, wow. But the thing was, I tell you a little secret now, right. don't tell Hold me. On. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let's just check. The, okay, go on. That's it. Yeah. Uh, the thing was... <laughs> The, the the original part it had been written for somebody between 45 and 55 Absolutely. well we know with the spot best spot on you're spot on already spot on no i'm not so <laughs> my agent has said uh, to the casting director you do realize she's a little older than that don't you and she said yes we know that but um the directors asked for her so i was doubly yeah. fortunate yeah. that i didn't have to audition well you worked for her before didn't you in that <laughs> yes, um, yes. A very the what was it called uh, down the caravan, down the caravan. Oh. She did a, a, yes a pilot for the bbc i think it was going to be originally but um anyway i i did that with her and uh oh she's she's a fabulous director you know yeah. she's quite inspirational actually and um so i was very fortunate didn't she do very but, annie mary as well yes yeah, she, she did she did yes. yeah very annie mary yes, i auditioned yes. but i didn't get a part uh. no 
<laughs> they probably gave it to that. What's that? What's that useless? No hope. But jo- Jonathan, what's his name now? Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look right. But yeah, I mean, but you so, didn't tell her the main thing about it. She, oh. Did she write to 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 get money? Oh no, no, no. We we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Yeah, you're okay, right, you know. No, I meant I meant Jonathan Price, isn't it? Because I mean, he managed to scrape a role in this one. As I think he was in a very Annie Mary as well. I think he was. Uh, yes, I think he was. Mm. Yes, I think you're right. Okay. Well, there, there were quite a few big stars in it. There was uh, Samantha, um, Samantha Morton, who was playing um, Liz, the main character. Right. Then there was Jonathan Price. There was um, who else? Oh, uh, Colm Meehan. Oh, yes. He's in it. Oh, yes. Rod Gilbert. I saw Rod Gilbert's name on there. Rod Gilbert, the comedian. Rod Gilbert, yes, mm-hmm. Rod Gilbert. Um, Tom Felton, who was in all of the um, uh, Harry, Harry Potter Potters. films. He was lovely. I had I, I worked with him. Right. When I say I worked with him, I had a little scene with him. Yeah. But because we were in the lyric uh, for hours on end and we were sitting next to each other, we got on really well. We had a good laugh that day. It was fantastic. Yeah. And in between, we were singing Bread of Heaven about 145 times, if I'm not, <laughs> not mistaken. Because <laughs> the thing is, everything, oh, glamour, I'm in a film, I'm in a film. It's like hours of tedium and boredom, isn't it, with, with minutes of excitement. Yes, um, uh, yes it's amazing. Uh, funnily enough, there was a a gentleman sitting by my side because there were lots of people from the area who were there as well, particularly for this particular scene, you know, to sing, perhaps they were in the choir or something, I'm not sure. And this man suddenly said to me, oh, is it always like this? He said, do you do lots of these? I said, well, not lots of films, actually. I said, but, you know, I'm used to uh, yeah. waiting. I was in that milk word with uh, Richard Burton and Liz Taylor, <laughs> but I, I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> So he said, um, yeah, but the thing is, he said, you know, I mean, uh, why do we have to do it so many times? So I said to him, look, have a look around. I said, look how many how many um, cameras you've got. I said, look how many people are here. They want to get as many people in the shots as possible. I said, yeah. so you've got to wait your turn until yeah. they come to you. Oh, Yeah, but most people who've never done film, they don't realise it. It's, a, it's done on one camera. Yes. So you get the master shot. Then they have to change the, the track and they got to shoot you from yes. that angle. Then they got to go the other way. Shoot the other. Yeah. So but it takes a long time. It does take a long time, but particularly with this one, because they had so many aerial views as well. Right. They had they had um, a camera on the, on the stage and then they were coming from all over the flipping place, you know. <laughs> it was uh, fantastic the way they worked it, actually. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you get the you get the call, you get the part. Yes. Then you yes. get the script. Do you get, are you allowed to? Um, yes, um, I finally got the uh, script. That that came a bit later, actually. I'd had the, the, what I was supposed to do, and then mm. I had the whole script afterwards. And then um, you're called then for your uh, wardrobe fitting and for your makeup fitting, and then you have to go a couple of times. And they they put this forward and say, "Would well, you do you think she looks fine mm. in this outfit?" Or you know, is, mm-hmm. is her hair all right? And they used to do my hair every day. At perm fight <laughs> very very small and of course the thing is liz was a hairdresser oh. and this is part of the story right. because what she did um at the time because they said we're going to we're going to close the uh, lyric now because don't trust this woman we don't trust what she's going to do said the said the um uh, counselors you see yeah. so she was ahead of them and what she did she she took her um her equipment to the theater right. and locked herself in Oh my gosh! Yes, sounds like all these squires. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and then she would uh, allow her customers to come in via the stage door. What do they get? Yes, <laughs> to have or whatever. So of course, this is I'm one of the people who used to go and have my hair done regularly, and also used to help. You know, I was I, I used to like the theatre, so I used to help in the theatre. I haven't got a big part at all, but I I'm here, there, and everywhere once we're in the theatre because I'm either I'm either uh, hoovering or um, I'm having a little tipple, <laughs> or you know I'm doing all sorts of things. Just like being at home, Johnny. Just like being at home, hoovering our tipples. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then I have my hair in rollers, you know, and yeah. uh, so she does my hair for me, that sort of thing. Yeah. So she she had her customers coming to the lyric, and so the the the, uh, the councillors didn't know what the heck they were going to do. They got the police there, but the police said, "Oh, well, we can't do anything about this." Well, she was tough, Liz. Yeah. She was. Oh, I mean, Stan yes. used to have murders with her because you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame her either. Yes, no, her two, her two sons ended up as singers. 
Yes. And, and both of them used to work backstage. You know, when there was yeah. no like uh, go compare. Yeah. Yes. And uh, his brother, they used to work backstage as stagehands when they were in college and stuff. Yeah. And of course, um, the, the his brother, he he worked with the um, uh, opera company right. in in Cardiff. Yes. yes. The, the Welsh. Com- uh, uh, National Opera, yes. And they actually do appear in the film. Because I, I was looking through the cast list. They, uh, yes. they play, play themselves, but they've also got yes. kids playing them as well. Yes, they have. Oh, and they were lovely children, I must say. They, they were ever so good. I'm, I met a few of them. Yes, mm. they were really nice. But, you know, it was really nice to see so many Welsh actors being used as yeah. well. You know, people like uh, James Thomas, Owen Teal, Rebecca Harris, Julian Elisa, Rod Gilbert, as you said, and Kevin Allen was there. Owen uh, Yeoman, who also is in, um, he's in L.A. as well. I think he was playing Liz's... Husband David, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not. I think mistaken. Sarah Shidman lives in LA, doesn't she? Uh, yes, well, yes, I think she does. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but she's Welsh born. Yes, she's Welsh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, it was a difficult was time, exciting. wasn't it? You know, so it was. We were always mm. we were in massive COVID restriction then as well. Yeah. It must have been a nightmare. How did it work for you? Well, for me, it was no problem at all. Um, I mean, for the way they, the organisation of it all, I don't know how they did it. We were in Carmarthen and we were in a, a, a specific place, not far from the river. Mm-hmm. And if you remember, the river came over as well, oh, yeah. but didn't hit the, 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 the plot where we were. So they were lucky about that. But what they used to do was every time you went to, um, to the base, mm-hmm. you had to uh, have a, a test. Right. So um, I'd arrive in the morning, I was taken, uh, all masked up, of course. When you're masked up all the time, except when you were allowed to take it off for the actual take, right. which was very difficult, particularly for people who had an awful lot to say. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, but uh, for me, it wasn't that hard. Um, but uh, if, I, if I was there more than once a week, then I'd just have one test. I'd have a PCR, shall we say, when I arrived. Right. But then uh, in a few days, if I was called again, I'd, I'd have a lateral test. So you were tested all the time yeah. and you, you couldn't eat together. You know, this is part of a yeah. lovely thing, isn't it? It's a sort of family affair yeah. that you all have lovely meals together. You couldn't do that at all. You all had your little caravan yes. and um, there would be a knock on the door and somebody would say, what would you like for lunch today? Do you fancy so-and-so or such-and-such or such-and-such? I said, oh, um, I'll have so-and-so, please. Oh, lovely, I'll be, I'll be back now. Did you always chair with your, with your name on the back? No, not yet. No, no. There's still time. Um, obviously, you know, it's, long, it's difficult to get to Carmarthen, really, isn't it? You know, because they're trying to go to Swansea. Then. Yes. So you, what, you, you must have well, must have been hard, you know, catching a bus. So no, how do no. you get there? No, 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 not at all, because a lovely limousine would come and fetch me every morning. <laughs> Mind you, sometimes it was five o'clock in the morning. Oh, all right, so there's always a price <laughs> to never pay. Mind. Yeah. Never mind. No, and then other times, obviously, I stayed in Carmarthen, mm. and um, they put me up. Nice. I couldn't choose. They had a, a, I, I either stayed in Carmarthen itself or I stayed in a beautiful place um, outside uh, Carmarthen, uh, which was a, a beautiful bed and breakfast place yeah. uh, in Glanguilly. Oh, nice. And, um, yes, um, it was it was beautiful. Um, or or I, I stayed in, uh, what's the name of that big um, hotel? Uh, oh, the sure. Withy Bush, is it? The Withy, is it? Withy? Yeah, I think so. Oh, um, I know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, and so I, I, I stayed in one or the other. But uh, if I was only needed one day at a time, then um, the um, driver it. picked me up, yeah. took me there. And then waited until I finished and brought me back home. Oh, that's, that's a life for <laughs> it, Johnny. Life, Did yeah. she change, Johnny, at that time? Did she change? Did she yeah, change? she was a bit, a bit uh, you know, elegant. How yeah. dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but now, you haven't told me the main thing was she wrote too. Oh, what did she write too? Oh, we, oh, yes. We'll go back to the film. Then, right, the okay. Sorry, yeah. So um, uh, she actually wrote um, a letter, or she had somebody to write her letter, to uh, Spielberg. And um, Spieg- Spielberg's assistant obviously read it yes. and said, oh, what do you think about this? They're saving a cinema. Well, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. So um, now what was the film that was coming out, John, that they Oh, had? yeah, it was uh, Jurassic Park. Jurassic, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park was about to come, wow. see? Yeah. Yes. So um, what they wanted was, um, that is Liz and her friends, they wanted to have the premiere... Uh, in Carmarthen. <laughs> so Spielberg had said, well, I'm awfully sorry, but it's in London and we've already booked it, and mm-hmm. this, that and the other. So they asked what time it would be on. 
And um, so he said, well, I tell you what I'll do. I'll send you a copy and you can you can put it on at the same time. <laughs> Come on, then, you know. The and so this is what happened. And um, I, I had a, a lovely surprise when I saw... Uh, when they when they were saying that the the, the film was going on, you know, yeah. in Carmarthen, they showed a clip of the night that they showed the film in oh. Carmarthen, and all these people were going up there. So you see that happening as well. So it was it was, it was really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if she hadn't done all that, um, there wouldn't be a the lyric, lyric no. would not be there. No. And you know, it's so important, isn't it, with all these smaller theatres, you yes. know. Yes. Which have got such history going for them, and they're beautiful buildings, yes, terrific. you know. And it's a different way of acting. You've got the the proscenium march, haven't you? You don't yes. have it quite often in modern ones. They don't bother, you know. They say, "Oh well, they don't have the proscenium marches." No, some don't. <laughs> I know just... some actors that don't though. That's enough. <laughs> he so... would not be mentioned, but he said, "What's up?" Uh, that, by that pillar by there, so do you mean the proscenium march? <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, you know, it's it, yeah. she. She was very important with yeah. all this. The sad thing is, of course, that she had died, yeah. so she hasn't seen that. She yeah. hasn't. She will never see the film. Yeah. Her family will, which is lovely. She must have died quite young then, really. Yes, mm. yes, because she was quite young, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, she wasn't was anymore. It was probably my age, perhaps a bit younger than me. I don't know. Youngster. Oh, I think she was younger than us, you know, John. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Do you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you get? A, did you get a chance to meet people like Jonathan Price? We know were they around? Did they? No, no, I no. didn't. No. I didn't meet him. Um, obviously, I had a. Uh, I had seen with um, Samantha Morton. She was in that series, um, what was it called? Uh, It was about Batman. No, Uh, no, no, that's a different one. That's Erin Richards. Oh, that's Erin Richards. Yes. Do you know Erin Richards? She was in Gotham. Oh, she? That series from America. Right. But she's a Welsh girl. And she was in the uh, the film. Good, good, good. She's in this film. She's got a very good part in it, actually. Uh, She's playing a secretary and she's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's from Penarth and I think she went to the same school as my daughter. She's called uh, (laughs) Penagarth. Yes. Um, uh, I I saw her. I saw I saw quite a few of them, but I didn't see Colm Meehan. I saw Owen Teal. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yes, and um, but you knew you knew Owen Teal from from Stella, didn't you? Uh, no, he wasn't in it when I was in it. No. Well, he was there when I was doing when, it. When you were in it, he was in it, but not when I was He's a good actor, Cotton. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So um, I met him the day that we were going into the um, the night of the showing, you know, that's yeah. when I saw him. But um, uh, as I say, uh, Tom Felton is the one I had most to do Tom. with. And Tom, as we call him, Tom, Tommy, Tommy boy. <laughs> <laughs> but see, Carl, Carl Meehan was in Star Trek. I mean, he was yes. a big one of the names. Yeah. He was the one that did beam me up. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. So um, do you know what's going to happen with the premiere and how it's going to work? Because if it's made for no. Sky, it's not just for the TV now. This is actually going to save cinemas, isn't it? it yes, it is It is going to appear in the cinema and on television. Mm. And apparently it's going to be shown on the 14th. 14th but um, I don't know anything more than that. 14th of January. Yeah. We'll, look, we'll put the date So we look diary. forward to something, don't we? Yeah. But I think they will, they will have a premiere yeah. in Carmarthen, so I expect to be there. Yeah, absolutely. I hope they're watching now, but I hope to be there. <laughs> I hope when you go up the red carpet, I should be there. Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, <laughs> you've got a tidy suit. You, you're bound to have a tidy suit. We don't want that suit. tap dancer up here. And I hope the hope the magic rubs off, because I think I've got a gig in in the lyric in January, at the end of January. Ooh. So let's hope the oh, the red carpet's still there. And um, yes. yeah, well, yes. and that's brilliant. Well, what a great what a great story. And yes, uh, yeah, we, lovely, we, lovely to do. Yeah, and uh, nice Very to see. Happy I time. Say, lots lovely to see Welsh people on stage uh, with a Welsh yes. story with an international appeal, and that's isn't it? That's what yes. it, that's what we, yes. we're all striving to do, isn't it? Hmm. And actually, it, it helped Carmarthen during the lockdown because there were so many people staying there. And I think a week before we uh, we opened, as it were, we started work on it, um, I think uh, they'd already done one film and then they did another one afterwards. I think, um, what's her name? Dame Judy Dench was there. Yes, she was. No. She was there. Exactly. I never saw her. Mm. But um, I think she was there either the time, the film before the one I did or the one afterwards. Well, it, it was on the news last night that Wales is one of the biggest uh, film mm. producers in, in the country at the moment. Yes. In fact, Wolf, the big yes. studio in Splot, mm. is that it's one of the second biggest in the yeah. country. Mm. Yes, and they're hoping they're going to be the most important in Europe. Yeah. Hallelujah. I say we've got such wonderful crews and everything yeah. here. Yeah. And they've got so much experience, you know. Brilliant. Let's hope they remember some of the little actors. 
<laughs> and the musicians as well. Johnny and the tap dancers. And, and the tap dancers. Absolutely. And the tap dancers. And the tap dancers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's really, brilliant. We can do it. Oh, great. Well, look, both of you have, have a lovely Christmas. I'm not sure whether we'll be around n- next week with, with everything being so busy, but we'll, yeah, we, we'll, we'll wish, care. I wish you and uh, to you and all of your kin as well, have, have a lovely, lovely Christmas. And, lovely. Um, thank you. And the same to you. Thank you very much. And when you feel like it and you, you're out of quarantine, yeah. you must come down. I'm just, yeah. Bring your wife and have dinner or something. I'm, we, desperate, you know. to, I'm desperate to come and see you guys. I am desperate. Yeah. It's, it's like uh, once yes. I'm out of quarantine, yeah. Persona well, there quarantine. we are. Fair yeah. enough. And well, it's understandable. We well, understand we've had a problem that. because my little granddaughter caught the virus. Oh, yes. oh is she okay? Yes. So we've, been, we've been in the quarantine for 10 days. Well, we all have to go and get tested. Yeah. yeah. And she's uh, she's only just been let out yesterday. I think. Yeah, yes. she went back to school yesterday. And she, yeah, she's okay. She, she's okay. Oh, yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think she 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 was a bit off of yeah. sorts uh, for a couple of days, yeah. and then her mother said, "Oh gosh, no, she's yeah. fine. She's, fine she's dancing here, or she's doing this, or she's doing that." You know? Thing yeah. is, if Johnny yeah. got it, we would know the difference because he's dancing all the time anyway. <laughs> I know. Oh, you'd know all right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing my big acting, but oh my god! <laughs> all right. Well, as we always say, it's uh, it's well, it's goodbye from them. And it's, good, from you. and it's goodbye from me. <laughs> Have a lovely Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.